Good morning. Happy Friday. Today's Friday and Friday's a Venus day. We have so much going on today. So there are a few things I want to talk about. I want to talk about the eclipse that's happening today at 12, 12 p.m. in Sagittarius, the lunar eclipse. And then I want to talk about Mercury retrograde. Um, and then I want to talk about whatever else comes up. Okay, so um, today is a Venus day and Venus is currently in Gemini retrograde. So Venus in Gemini, Venus is the energy of our restoration. It's how we restore ourselves. It's how we, it's how we share energy and relate to the environment, right? And so that includes our relationships to people. It includes our relationships to everything. All people, um, it includes our relationship to the earth. So Venus governs Taurus and Taurus is the earth. It includes our relationship to beauty and art and that's Taurus and Libra. It includes our relationships to food, um, our senses, how we feel about ourselves. So that's why I've created these two courses. Venus Retrograde, What You Won't Do for Love, so that you can look at how you relate to others, how you formulated your early childhood patterns around love by understanding your parents. Like I was, I've shared with you before that my parents, you know, my father was a pimp and my mother was a prostitute. And so I, those, those behaviors, watching that as a child created ways of being inside of me that then um, influenced how I relate. And so during this Venus retrograde time, you want to look at those patterns and begin to renew them, rejuvenate them, reform them, because we are moving out of those old frequencies. And it requires that we um, notice the ways that we're codependent, notice the ways that we are um, holding relationships that no longer serve us. Just yesterday, I got into a really long, cantankerous um, debate on Facebook with a woman that I know personally and it was and she was being so angry with me and you know I realize people get really triggered when I say that I voted for Trump and and they don't understand why I would do it I get that and I respect that and I was saying I get it but I knew that we needed what we're going through now I knew on some level that this is going to be the thing that serves us and she's so angry and and finally I just stopped and checked in with myself and was like, why is this woman so angry? And I remembered we dated the same man. <laughs> we, She dated him before I did. And so we are sharing some sort of energetic, emotional energy because when people sleep with the same person, your, inter your energies are intertwined. So I was like, oh, this is not just her being angry. This is something else. So I was able to engage it at another level because that's, it was more than what it looked like was going on. And so this is why we wanna begin to, to reframe these relationships we have, to understand the connections that we have with people and what's really at work here and, and shift that. And so Venus in retrograde is, you guys can check for the class here, also Venus in retrograde around money. Venus governs money, how we restore ourselves with um, our work and doing things that we love and making sure that our work is also connected to our joy. We can't be making money doing things that we don't give a fuck about just to make money. It's That's empty. That's never enough. So I encourage you to register for that class too. It's called Venus Retrograde Cash Rules Everything Around Me. Tonight, Dr. Monaco Agondo is going to be speaking and we're going to be talking about the energy and the currency of money and how that really works for real and get ourselves out of this Western way of thinking about it, which is just capitalism and, you know, get, get, get without serving, without creating well-being for what it is that you're getting. There needs to be a reciprocity in our work that we do good work and then we are paid for the work that we do. And that creates an energetic vortex of health and well-being in our lives, in our communities, and because we're doing things that are deserving, that are bringing well-being into our community, and then you feel good, and then you get your money, and it's just a it's just a flow that occurs. 
Um, so the next thing I want to talk about is we are in the Mercury shadow. The Mercury retrograde starts on June 16th. We're in the shadow now. And so what would Mercury is retrograding in Cancer and Cancer is the mother. And Cancer is also your emotions, your deep feelings and bringing those feelings to surface. You remember the crab. Cancer is the crab. So it's we've been holding everything in, right? So the United States is a cancer born on the 4th of July and so we want to use this mercury retrograde and cancer to bring what has been held in tightly coveted secured um, secretive you know sequester we want to bring it out so that we can begin to heal it so that we can renew it so that we can transmute it and so we're gonna look at the energy of the mother yourself right so the mother energy is not just your mother it's also a metaphysical it's an energy of the creator what are we creating what have we created here in the United States what got us where we are how did the women in this country generationally create the situation the experiences that we're having now where have we turned a blind eye where have we um where have we succumbed to oppression and repression where have we where have we behaved like we are not accountable and responsible to one another where have we um you know shunned our responsibilities and our duties where have we abdicated our responsibility and our accountability so you know we all we have to do here is just look at our own lives and look at you know how we show up and care for ourselves and well-being for and care for others how look at our mothers you know and what our mothers um experienced and understand that it's it's over for us sacrificing ourselves there's so many things that women do for other people i was you know um talking with like I was, I've been talking a lot about me voting for Trump and um, and this sort of radical stance I've taken. And, you know, I hear so many women go, but he's harmed so many people. Why do we make it like there's this thing that women do and we all do it where we sacrifice ourselves for others. It's just sort of in the coding that we should sacrifice ourselves if we want to. And, and of course, there is sacrifice in motherhood. It is just the nature of it. When you are at home taking care of children, whether you have a spouse or not, whether you have a community or not, you are going to sacrifice some things. You're going, I remember when I bought my child home, the life that I began to live, the moment he came home, my old life was sacrificed. It was dead, it was gone. So sacrifice is a part of motherhood, but it is not all of motherhood. It does not mean that we don't get to have our own needs met. It doesn't mean that we should not be provided for and taken care of and and resourced in ways that are healthy and good for us as the mother, as the mother. Like this idea of sacrificing your happiness for your children and everyone else is problematic. If you, whatever you whatever you teach your children that's what they will do so if you teach your children to put yourself to that you don't have needs that you don't um that you don't need anything that your desires are not important that you should sacrifice yourself for your children then your children will grow up and then put other people before them if your children see you putting yourself last your children will grow up and then put themselves last. So your children must witness you put yourself first, even before them, so then they can pattern themselves after that. Your children are going to do what they see you do. They're not gonna do what they see you say or hear you say. Your actions are important. So it's, an, it's significant that women, especially black women, especially black mothers, begin to put ourselves first because we have historically been put last. When we were slaves, we raised white children, we nursed them, we took care of them while our, ch our children were being sold into slavery, put into the fields, abused, raped, you know, traumatized, just done so much harm to while we took care of white children. So we have ingrained in us this need to 
put ourselves last. So for this Mercury retrograde, it's important for us to begin to look at where we've been sacrificing ourselves and look at, is that serving us? And if it's not, do something about it. Do something about it with love and compassion and tenderness for yourself and for others, but do something about it. And then the last thing I want to talk about, Venus, retro Venus retrograde, Mercury retrograde, the eclipse and Sagittarius. We're having a lunar eclipse today in Sagittarius. And Sag is the energy of um, your truth. It's literally your truth, your philosophy, but it's also your intuition, what you know. Your truth comes from something deep within you. It comes from your connection to the divine. It comes from your connection to the grand scheme of things, the global understanding. And so today, as we are having a lunar eclipse, the moon is not, is going to be eclipsed by the sun. And so we're going to ask ourselves from deep within us, because the moon is our feelings, right? The moon is also the mother. So it's asking ourselves, you know, what is it that we want to let go of as far as our truth is concerned? What, tr what is keeping you from living your truth? What is keeping you from accessing your power? Jupiter governs Sagittarius and it's the biggest planet in our solar system. And it's a benevolent planet. It's blessings and, and, um, and joy and abundance and, um, just all of this goodness. So what is keeping you from that? What is eclipsing your truth, your blessings, your faith? What's eclipsing your faith? And so we want to ask for everything that is eclipsing our faith to be removed with grace and ease and harmony and love. That we could have a deeper acceptance of who we truly are as divine beings, right? Because the reality, the truth is that we are divine that we are cosmic beings, that we are gods in human form. That is the truth, ultimately. Now, wherever you are on the spectrum of that is up to you to know, but that's the ultimate truth, and that we're here to have a divine experience, a godly experience. So with that, I hope all of this is supportive to you. I would love it today if you guys would give donations to me. On Friday, I like to ask for donations. You can donate at um, Cash App at dollar sign Monique Ruffin, or at Venmo, dollar sign, Monique hyphen Ruffin. Um, and I just appreciate just your love notes. You, you know, I, I, this is not about money for me or any of that, but I, I understand that this is an energetic exchange, so it's important for me to ask. Um, or you can just sign up for one of my classes and just register, and then that's a great contribution, and then you'll learn something else as well. I'm the Moon Mama. Have a wonderful day. I'm drinking lavender water. Mm. It's delicious. Peace and blessings, everyone. I love you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.